friends, today we are going to be using warm, cool, and neutral colors to create a fun owl drawing. Now to review warm and cool colors. Cool colors are colors like green, blue, and purple. They're colors that look cold. When we learn about cool colors when you're little in class, we always say brr, and when we look at them and touch them. Our warm colors look hot. You can see I wrote the word hot on our warm colors. They are yellow, orange, and red. And when you're little in kindergarten and first grade, when we learn those, we touch them and we say, woo, hot. You guys probably remember doing that in class with me. Our neutral colors are colors like brown, tan, black, and white that don't really look hot and don't really look cold. We're gonna use all three in this one, but we're gonna really focus on warm colors, against the cool colors to create something that we like to call contrast. Contrast is a strong difference. If I had colored this owl blues and purples, he wouldn't have stood out as much against this blue and purple background. But since I colored him a little bit of neutral colors with brown and warm colors with orange and yellow and a little bit of red, those warm tones are really standing out from that cool background, so it really makes him pop and stand out. So first we gotta learn how to draw the owl. Now what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna do this with pen, but I want you to start with pencil, that way if you mess up you can erase, okay? But what we're gonna do first is we're going to draw a straight line, about that big. Pretty small, right? And then we're going to turn that in to like an upside down triangle. So we're gonna put a letter V on the bottom. Letter V. And that's gonna be the beak of our owl. Next, we're gonna want two big circles going around. And if you can look at my finished one, that's gonna be the big white part of the eye. Then we'll have the colorful part of the eye and then the pupil, okay? So we'll have three circles here, but we're gonna start off with the big circle. We're gonna start kind of like almost to the middle of that triangle and go big circle, big circle, like that. I think mine are a little lopsided, but Miss Hoffman's using a pen, so I can't erase, can I? If yours were lopsided, you could erase because you're using a pencil. Then I'm gonna do the colorful part of the eye, which is called the iris, so the Big circle, big circle. And then I'm gonna do the black portion of the eye. Smaller circle, smaller circle. To leave a little light reflection in the eye, you can do little circles inside that. And I'm gonna shade that in just so you can kind of tell what I'm talking about. And when you start coloring this, you'll take your black crayon or your black color pencil or your black marker in this middle part will be black, but I'm just gonna shade that in so you can kinda tell what I'm talking about. You leave that little bitty white dot to be a reflection of light on the owl's eye. It looks cool. All right, so now we have the owl's eyes and the owl's beak. So it kinda looks, you can see what it looks like on the finished one. Now we're gonna do the head and the ears. So now around this, we're going to draw a circle or an oval, I guess this is more of a stretched out oval around his head. And then we're gonna do a triangle on top, triangle on my top. All right, for my younger friends, you've used a lot of shapes here. You used ovals, you used to use circles, you, used to use you, you have used triangles. You can see that drawing is just breaking things into basic shapes. So now we have eyes beak, head, triangles for ears. Remember, if I'm going too fast to pause me, okay, friends? Now we're gonna draw the owl's belly. We're gonna do kind of another circle shape right here. And then a rainbow arch shape for the tuft of feathers on the owl's belly. This, when you're coloring, gives you the opportunity to color in extra colors. So you can see I kind of colored in my owl an orangish brownish color, but then I made the belly orange and yellow, kind of gives it more of a fall look to our picture. Okay, next we're gonna draw wings and they're kind of like hot dog shapes. They look like hot dog, 
hot dog, long ovals, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, just like Mickey Mouse says. It looks like two hot dogs right there. And then it looks like little bitty skinny hot dogs for the toes. Little bitty oval, 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 little bitty oval. Now he kind of is just sitting there, so I'm gonna draw a branch underneath his feet. Just gonna draw a line down here. If you want to, you can draw some sticks coming off your branch or some leaves coming off your branch. You be creative. Okay, it doesn't have to look just like mine. All right, so here I have my owl, my branch. When I colored this in, I colored in my branch a neutral color, which is brown, and my leaves warm colors, which are red, orange, and yellow. I colored in my owl neutral color, which is brown, and warm colors, which are red, orange, and yellow. And then I colored my background blue, purple, and green to have that cool colors against the warm colors. When you have cool colors against warm colors in a picture, it creates contrast, makes it stand out. So if you want, you can just color the whole background in blue and purple or the whole black gown in blue. If you want some stars or a moon like I have, how I did my moon is I did a big C shape and then I went back in, made it pointy at the ends like that and did another C shape. To do my stars, I just did little dots of yellow in the sky and a lot of my friends have studied Vincent Van Gogh with me in class. We know that he liked to put the little dashes of, of uh, light around in the sky and swirls. So I kind of had that as an inspiration for my background for my owl picture. And I did little dashes of color. You could go back in and outline these little dashes with yellow. And then I did some little swirls in the background. You do not have to do that. It would be just fine to color it in plain blue or plain purple. But you can see I colored in my background blue and purple and green and then I went in with my crayon and did some swirls with the blues and the purples and did little dashes with the yellows to look like the stars are shining. Alright, but the main thing is is our owl is going to be mostly warm colors with some neutral colors and our background is going to be cool colors so that way we have a contrast. Hope you had fun with this. Bye guys.